welcome back. Fun story factory time. I'm reading another book that I enjoyed reading to my children when they were little. Now there's been a lovely exhibition on last year about Vincent van Gogh. So I found this book on my shelf called Camille and the Sunflowers. I'm sure some of you have studied this at school. It's for a little bit of the older children to watch. I don't want to always do books just suitable for three to five year olds. So this is also good for three to five year olds, but it's a little bit for the children that have studied a little bit about art as well. So it's a story about Vincent van Gogh and it's been written by Lawrence Anholt. And I think it's delightful. So this book says one day a strange man arrived in Camille's town. He had a straw hat and a yellow beard. The strange man is the artist Vincent van Gogh, seen through the eyes of a young boy entranced by Vincent's painting. As Camille discovers, not everyone appreciates the genius of his sunflower man. Vincent is forced to leave the town, but his paintings live on, never to be forgotten. And this is the story now that I'm going to be reading. So shall we begin? Where Camille lived, the sunflowers grew so high, they looked like real suns. A whole field of burning yellow suns. Where Camille lived, the sunflowers grew so high, they looked like real suns. A whole field of burning yellow suns. Look like sunshine, don't they? Every day after school, Camille ran through the sunflowers to meet his father, who was a postman. Together they would lift down the heavy sacks of mail. Can you see that? One day, a strange man arrived in Camille's town. He had a straw hat and a yellow beard. He looked around with quick brown eyes. I am Vincent, the painter, he said, smiling at Camille. Vincent moved into the yellow house at the end of Camille's street. He had no money and no friends. Let's try and help him, said Camille's father. So they loaded up the postcard with pots and pans and old furniture for the yellow house. Camille picked a huge bunch of sunflowers for the painter and put them in a big brown pot. Vincent was very pleased to have two good friends. Vincent asked Camille's father if he would like to have his picture painted, dressed in his best blue uniform. You must sit quite still, said Vincent. Camille watched everything. He loved the bright colours Vincent used and the strong smell of paint. He saw the face of his father appear like magic on the canvas. The picture was strange, but very beautiful. Vincent said he would like to paint the whole family. Camille's mother, his big brother, his baby sister, and at last Camille himself. Camille was very excited. He'd never even had his photograph taken. See all the famous pictures? Camille took his painting into school. He wanted everyone to see it. But the children didn't like the picture. They all began to laugh. Then Camille felt very sad. After school, some of the older children started teasing Vincent. They ran along behind as he went out to paint. Even the grown-ups joined in. It's time he got a real job, they said, instead of playing with paints all day. All that afternoon, Camille sat watching Vincent work. It was very hot, but Vincent worked fast. He painted the sunflower fields and even the sun itself. He is the sunflower man, thought Camille. If I were rich, I would buy all your paintings, he said. Thank you, my friend, laughed Vincent. When Camille and Vincent came back from the fields, some children from Camille's school were waiting for them. 
They shouted at Vincent and threw stones. Camille wanted them to stop, but what could he do? He was only a small boy. At last he ran home in tears. Listen, Camille, said his father. People often laugh at things that are different, but I've got a feeling that one day they will learn to love Vincent's paintings. His father saw he had a great, great talent. That night, Camille had a strange dream. He saw Vincent standing in the moonlight, high above the town. He had stuck candles on his hat so that he could see the sunflower man was painting the stars. That's another famous painting from Vincent van Gogh, isn't it? Early next morning, Camille was woken by a loud knocking at the door. Some men from the town had come to see his father. Listen, postman, they said. We want you to give this letter to your friend. It says he must pack up his paints and leave our town. Camille slipped out through the back door and ran down the street to the yellow house. It seemed very quiet inside. Then Camille saw the sunflowers he had picked for Vincent. They had all dried up and died. Camille felt sadder than ever. He found Vincent upstairs, packing his bags. Vincent looked very tired, but he smiled at Camille. Don't be sad, he said. It's time for me to paint somewhere else now. Perhaps people there will like my pictures. But first I have something to show you. Look, that's his famous bedroom, which he painted as well. Vincent lifted down a big picture. There were Camille's sunflowers, bigger and brighter than ever. Camille looked at the painting. Then he smiled too. Goodbye, sunflower man, he whispered and ran out of the yellow house into the sunshine. Wasn't that lovely? Camille's father was right. People did learn to love Vincent's paintings. Today you would have to be very rich to buy one. But people visit galleries and museums all over the world just to look at pictures of the yellow house, of Camille and his family, and most of all the sunflowers, so bright and yellow, they look like real suns. So this is telling you the story, and this is telling you all about Vincent van Gogh and what happened to him and his life. And look, they're all going to visit his works. Did you enjoy that? I will take a picture of all about his life and I'll post it on a page on YouTube so you can read it at the same time and know all about Vincent van Gogh. Okay, thank you very much for listening. See you again soon on Fun Story Factory. Bye-bye for now.